But anyway, uh, there was a man there from the British Army at the same time, and we walked around together, <coughs> and uh, somehow the subject of uh, records and music and recording came up, and he asked me if I had heard this machine down at Radio Frankfurt, and I just said, is it a tape machine? And he said, yes. And I said, what is it, one of those magnetophones? And he said, yes, that's right. And I said, oh, hmm, sure, fine. I discounted what his raving about it because up to that time all our experience had been with a low fidelity job, and I thought, well, he just didn't have very good ears. But he said, we ought to go and listen to it. And coming down that road afterward, there was at the bottom of the hill, there's a turn off. You turn to the right, and it would take you west when ultimately back to Paris, and if you turned left, you were on your road to Frankfurt, or actually Bad Nauheim, which is the town where the um, broadcast service was uh, coming from then because they had been, they had to get out of Frankfurt because of the bombing. And um, so that was probably the greatest decision I ever made in my life, was to turn left there and follow the guy's advice instead of just discounting what he said and turning right, and probably never would have... <laughs> Could have changed my entire life, and I look back on it. So I turned left, and we went to the radio station that afternoon, and uh, it was being operated by the um, Americans, the AFRS. And so I asked them if they could uh, let me hear one of these machines, and so they spoke in German to an assistant who clicked his heels and ran back to a room and came out with a roll of tape and put it on the machine. And that's when I really flipped, because I'd never heard anything like that. And, uh, as far to my knowledge, uh, there just hadn't been anything like that anywhere in recording before. You couldn't tell whether it was live or playback. There was no background noise. I was thrilled. 